The lunar calendar is also quite significant. Uh, for us and our cousins as well in faith, the Jewish people, they follow a lunar calendar. And the lunar calendar, of course, moves forward 11 days every year. So therefore, Ramadan doesn't just stay in one particular time. Now, one of the things that you might not know is that the Arab used to try to deceive each other by randomly claiming it was a, a sacred month. So it's a, they used to have certain months in the year where warfare was prohibited. So if your tribe was weak in a particular moment in time, you say, hey, it's actually that month, say, but there's no moon, it doesn't matter, right? And therefore the concept of shahr became, hold on a second, the month can't just be declared, it must be mashhur, must be famous. And what's the sign that a month is famous? Is that everyone can see it. Everyone can see what? What could they all see out in the desert at night? The, the moon, the hilal. And therefore that became the sign of the ishtihar of every month, the famous acknowledgement of a month entering into a new beginning and a new evolution for the following month. And therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala begins the word Ramadan by saying, Shahru Ramadan.